All right, here we go. We press play on one. So five, four, three, two, one. Like, um, I'll mute you all so maybe it's easier. You can, you know, use your volume as you like. Um, and we're going to dive in for an hour. Shakti Yoga and ODC intro. Everybody kosher? Thumbs up? Questions? All right. There we go. <coughs> Well, I lied. We're going to get to the mat in a minute, but <clears throat> let's start standing, actually. Because one of the things kind of unique to Shakti Yoga is the awareness of our feet. Because our feet are obviously holding us on the earth. But our feet um, are not just only holding us on the earth. They're connecting our energy body to the earth as well. So we want to make sure that we're really awake in the feet before we do a lot of these movements. So go ahead and find your feet. Maybe look at your feet. Make sure they're equal placement. Feeling the weight equally in them. Maybe rocking a little bit front to back. Grabbing the toes on the floor. Waking up the toes. Starting to suction the arches. So we start opening those gateways of energy connecting the earth to our body. So you can just start Waking up the feet and drawing energy up the feet and into the legs. And then let's do some just little shaky shakes, soft knees, soft hips. We're just going to wake up the pelvis, the lower back. Good. And then the shoulders, let the arms be loose. This is kind of a Qigong concept of shaking and releasing stagnant energy. And then we're going to just drop head right, dip the knees, drop head, and then side, and drop head forward, dip the knees and shoulders, drop head side. We're going to take a little deeper drop, and this time we're going to open, not take the head all the way back, but dip, and then open, dip, open, dip. Couple more times at your own pace, starting to engage the breath. Feeling the strength of the feet holding you equally. And then go ahead and release to floor, nice and comfortable. So the chest is on the thighs and we're just gonna shake it out. Let the head be heavy, maybe nod some yeses. And then shaky, shaky, shake. Now we're going to wake up the hands. So now the hands are like in your downward dog hands. And we're going to press into the hands. Press into the fingertips, the knuckles, rocking back and forth into the hands. <clears throat> Good. And then go ahead and take a soft dog, meaning soft knees. We're just waking things up. You can move it around and then go ahead and lengthen a bit longer into your full dog and take it where your body wants that luscious movement and opening. Walk it around and maybe open one side and the other at your own pace. Good, and then we're gonna walk the, hand, the feet to the hands, and you're gonna find your own comfortable squat. Now, if your heels don't hit the floor, you roll up your yoga mat, and you like a little taco, and you stick it or burrito under the heels. 
so that you can comfortably sit. If you can do squat, um, then just go ahead and get comfortably into it. And we're going to start with a soft squat. So we're going to reach forward and the palms are going to be up to the sky. The head is nice and heavy. And you give soft nods side to side. Breathing into the back, the top, middle, and lower. Start bringing the hands a little bit closer to the body, but still on the ground. Focusing on the upper back and shoulders. Now we're going to reach hands forward again onto the fingertips. Dipping the head a little more, opening the back of the neck. Good. And then hands are going to come to Anjali Mudra at the heart. So now <coughs> the elbows are helping to open the knees. If this is too intense for you, go ahead and sit down and just put your feet together um, like, like this, just kind of a soft one of these. But if you can uh, handle this, we're gonna just do a few more moments. So Anjali, opening the pelvis, feeling the lower gateway of our body close to the earth. You can actually start drawing the perineum up a little bit. And notice what the feet are doing. We have a big open foot posture here, open pelvis, and bring the tail a little closer to the earth so the lower back is lengthening. Slight drop of the chin so the top of the head is, is lengthening the upper spine. And you can find a soft gaze on the floor. Here we go, we're gonna inhale from the base all the way up to the top of the head. Hold for a moment before you exhale out the nose. And you can continue those breaths a few times. With the tongue gently resting on the top of the mouth. Drawing up the base of the spine to the top of the head. And then exhaling back down that pathway with the breath going out the nose. Two more times. Sinking the tail even deeper. Good, and then we're gonna release, sit on the tail, bring the feet together, but bring them out. So you may have maybe a couple feet from you. Inhale, open the heart and the eyes to the sky. You can even smile that we have this beautiful opportunity to practice with each other. Slide the shoulders down the back. Activate the toes and the arches. Open the wrists and the fingers with some circles. And the other. And really call in that what brings you here. And we could be doing other things, but we're here in beautiful Shakti practice together. Drawing that in, inhale, and then exhale and offer that to the earth, coming all the way down. <clears throat> I like to kind of shimmy, shaky, rocky in my seat here. Again, just really opening the lower back. And drawing the chin in so that we open the upper spine and the neck. And drawing the shoulders down the back so the ear and neck have space. Take it a little deeper. Soften the face. And gently one vertebra at a time. You can use your hands to help you slowly, slowly sit up. And then we're going to bring the knees together, legs come out, pulling the flesh from the sit bones. Inhale with a soft heart. So this, the heart goes 
in comfortably as we raise the arms rather than starting to press forward. So softening the heart as we lift the arms. Inhale up, flexing the feet. Exhale over. And you can shake the legs out. Putting the hands wherever you feel called to do. And then distill everything and take it a little deeper. Good, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna make a little ball. So we're gonna just make a little ball, point the toes, hug yourself. Giving yourself gratitude for making it here. Good, and then we're going to uh, open up the legs. Find a nice, comfortable open. <clears throat> The knees always want to stay up, as well as the toes. And we're just going to come forward a little bit and point and flex and point. You can come a little bit deeper as the body releases and flex and point. And a little deeper forward, flex and point. Dropping the chin slightly, flex. Rolling a little bit more forward on the pelvis. You can hold that flex foot. <clears throat> and we're gonna use the hands to make a walk over to one leg. And you're gonna twist the torso towards that leg. Inhale, long spine, drop the chin. Exhale, gently over. We're not gonna give our 100% right now. We're just starting up. And then with the hands, staying nice and low, walking over to the other, give a little twist and over. And then we're gonna walk hands to the front, take it a little deeper. You can point or flex as you like, let's see. So we're lengthening the breath as we go into these more deeper postures. And you find a pathway and you just roll that front, you know, roll that pathway up and down. So it might be calling up your leg from your feet to your pelvis and back down to your feet. Or it might be lower spine to upper spine. But find a pathway and deepen for three more breaths. Then open the hands out wide with the fingertips kind of clawing the floor, rolling the shoulders up and back, and then press the hands in and come up to full seat. Here we go, we're gonna arc over and wrist and finger circles. Other way with the wrist and fingers. And full arc over the other side. This time we're going to take a bigger twist. So the arms are going to help wrap us around. You're going to take the opposite arm to the outside of that leg. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, slide hand down the outside of that leg. And you can use the back hand to help you twist the spine and get the chest a little bit more facing that leg. And then we open the arm nice and long, and we twist, slide the opposite hand down that, and 
Use back hand to help twist a little deeper. Coming down. Good, and then coming up to center. <clears throat> One more time, feet coming in together, touching. This time we're gonna come bring the pelvis towards the feet so we have more of our butterfly. The fingers are pointing away from you. You're gonna lift the pelvis, so side view would be. Lifting the pelvis and give a little wiggle of the knees, make sure it's safe. So we're engaging that front pelvis and you'll feel the opening in the lower body, the strengthening in the legs and the opening of the heart and come back down. So we bring the hands kind of close together <clears throat> on the fingertips and again lift, open the heart. This time you can bring the eyes to the sky. So long neck, back of the neck is long but you're opening the heart, you're opening the eyes, the throat, our full frontal energetic system is wide open. Go ahead and just take a still spot, feel the strength of the arms, and imagining you're illuminating that front energetic staircase of the spine. The feet are open to the sky. Inhale from the feet to the top of the head. Exhale down to the feet. One more breath, inhale, feet to head, passing through the spine, the energy centers. And exhale, come seated. And come closer to your butterfly. Make, so bringing the pelvis towards the feet. And now we're gonna press those knees down. Letting the feet be illuminated by the sun. Then we're going to reach the hands forward, fingertips to the floor, tucking the chin in, and come as low as you feel appropriate. Now the hands are wider than the shoulders, so the heart can stay open. The toes are flexed. You're gonna roll the forward body a little bit more. You can shaky shake the shoulders. Breathing into the spine. Soft face. Release any tension in the face. Rolling up. Hug yourself, grab your knees, hug yourself a little, a little ball, and we're gonna go on the spine. And we're going to just rock and roll on the spine. Staying a little ball. Good. And then to find a nice flat spot, lengthening uh, your left leg, holding that right knee into the armpit. And notice your feet. What are your feet doing? Let them do what they want to do, but be aware of the feet and switch legs. So we're hovering the long leg and we're holding the left knee towards the armpit. Using the leg strength of the right to hover it. And switch. And one more time, switch. So this time we are going to stay, you're going to stay where you are. You're going to bring that left knee over the body and you're going to reach the left arm out and give yourself a little look over to the left hand. Long activated right leg. If you want to keep it, uh, make it deeper, you lengthen that left leg and grab either the ankle or the foot and you're drawing your left hip towards the foot, towards the right foot, so away from the body. Drawing that left hip away from the body.
Breathing deeply and long so you can deepen in each um, movement. Soft face and jaw. Good, and then you're gonna take that left leg, bring it down to meet the right, and then grab the foot of the left leg, drop it down to the floor. So we're gonna reach now the right arm long, and we're giving ourselves a thigh opener on the left. Now make sure your knee is happy with this. If it's not, come out of it. Here we go, on to the back. Get your right leg bent and twist it over. Opening right arm, gazing down right arm if you can. And lengthening the breath and we sink deeper into the posture with each exhale. If you want to deepen that, you lengthen that right leg and grab the hand to the place that feels right for you and lengthen that right hip away from the torso. Continually dropping that hip farther away from torso and twisting more to gaze right. Making sure that left foot is still awake. Finding the lusciousness of your breath. Releasing that foot and grabbing right foot to right hand. Opening, so you can roll the chest open a little bit to get into that thigh, the right thigh. Reaching left arm long. Softening the heart and the chest. Good, and then both legs long. Reaching both arms above the head. Take a full body stretch nice and long. And then we're going to inhale up to seated, exhale over. And deepen that length of the back leg, curl the chin in, open the spine more, drawing shoulders down the back. Good, and then we're going to bring the feet in. We're going to go up on the toes. So the toes and the heels. So we're gonna give the heels their full length or their full height. And now we're waking up the toes. So you can kind of rock front back on the toes and plant the fingertips. We're gonna lengthen the legs and you're gonna try to keep the chest to the thigh. So as you lengthen the legs, heels are up. The head's eventually going to end down. Now, if that's not good happening for you today, feel free to flatten the heels. If you are keeping the heels up, that's great. Deepen the head even lower. <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and bend the knees again. And this time, the arms are going to float up parallel to the floor and the thighs. We still have our full height of the heels. Using the core, using the feet, drawing the shoulders down the back so the hands and the shoulders are in one long line. Breathing, engaging the core, strength of the legs. Here we go. You can either flatten the feet or keep the heels up. Strong core, strong legs, strong balance. Knees over the toes. Come to full length, find a focal point, a drishti to keep your eyes focused. Hands over shoulders. Breathing for four, 
three, pressing into the balls of the big toe, two, one, the palms are gonna press out and we gracefully, with intention, come to stand. And as the hands go down, feel the body float and rise up. Catch your breath, make it Heart into the chest. Keeping your first few point. <clears throat> I'm gonna move my mat, at least for now. Okay, so you're standing where you were. So we have our mountain posture. Go ahead and bring the feet together. You're feeling the length of the pelvis, softening of the heart. We're gonna inhale up. We're actually gonna open the heart to the sky. We're gonna come over and hold parallel to the floor, drawing the toes up and the arches up. Welcoming the earth energy up the legs, drawing shoulders down the back, and release, walking it out, heavy head. And step the right foot back. And do little presses going low and rise. Low and rise. Flatten the hands, going into plank for just a moment. Spreading the shoulders away from each other, opening the heart to floor. Elbows slide in, hover and up. Just shake a little wag of the tail. Up dog. Dropping both heels out to the right side, look under the left. Pressing in the hands equally. Both heels up and switch heels to left side. Look under right arm. And repeat. Heels to right. And switch heels to left. And then full dog. So we're gonna do something different with our dog in just a moment. So I want you to just kind of scan your dog right now. You don't have to do anything different than you have before, but just kind of notice what works for you or maybe where you need to adjust. Then we bring right foot forward to the middle, to the hands on the fingertips. Go ahead and play with lengthening and deepening. <clears throat> and flat hands, go to your plank, elbows in, slide to a dog, okay, find your dog, and now we started working with our feet chakra. Now we're gonna move into our hand chakra. So you sit in your dog, come down whenever you need to. I'm gonna just talk you through a few things. So I'm actually gonna come closer so you can hear me, but I'm gonna stay on my dog. So we have, just like our feet, we have these big chakras on the palm of our hands, just like on the arch of our feet. And we have Chakras on our fingertips. So we're gonna inhale earth energy into the hand chakras. The earth energy is gonna then go down the arms, through the body, and out into the earth out of our feet chakra. Okay, so I want you to really focus on that. So we're gonna inhale into the hands and outhale into the feet and go ahead and come into a wide child's pose for a moment. <clears throat> So keeping the hands connected to the earth <clears throat> in the place where you're going to probably have your hands for down dog. So you're in your child's pose and we're bringing awareness to the hands. So feel the pads on the fingertips. So those have wheels of energy or windows that we can draw in and release out. 
And same with the palms of the hands. They're like apertures of a camera. We open and close with our intention, drawing in or releasing out. So when we go into dog again, you're gonna draw earth energy in and let that energy follow all the channels through the, through the arm, through the torso, and then you're gonna release anything you're ready to release out the feet into the earth. So we're gonna create a full wheel of energy, drawing fresh in, releasing out. So it goes in the hands, through the body, grounds out through the feet. And then you'll see, you can even use your mind to imagine that as above, so below, that there's an energy cycle that goes down underground, just the same that's going through your body. Um, so as you cultivate this with your practice over and over, as the years progress, it can become extremely profound experience to have this wheel of energy going. So this is one of the things that um, I can't remember where I learned this. Maybe I taught it myself. I don't know. But I've never once in my 28 years of doing yoga classes have ever had anyone told me this. And it's like, I don't know. So anyway, this is one of my favorite things about downward dogs. So now you know one of my secrets. So here we go. We're going to continue with our wide <clears throat> child pose. And you're going to bring awareness into your hands. The hands are fully open. They're in their full expression. Then we're going to lift the, the tail up. So before we get into our downward dog, <clears throat> let's actually work on the spine. So we're going to draw a... Um, Left ear to left hip, opening right side, and reverse. So we're going to open the sides and the front and back of the spine. Just a moment, we'll get there. So you're going side to side like a little puppy dog, opening the sides of its body, doing a wag of the head and the tail. And then we're going to drop the belly, lift the head. Gaze up, and then we're gonna, that's an inhale, and then we're going to exhale from the pelvis all the way to the top of the head. We're pressing the air out by engaging the front body from the lower to the upper, like two phase two. Here we go. We're going to draw the breath in as we lower the belly to the chest, and raise the head. That's the in-breath. And we squeeze out the breath from the base to the top of the head. I'm going to let you do your own pace for a few cycles. Hands are under the shoulders. Making sure you're opening the neck, releasing the neck. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to center and you're gonna add the sides with the front back so that we can do a full spiraling of the spine. Using the breath, paying close attention that you're keeping it sweet and that there's no strain. Getting all parts of the spine. And reverse. Good, and then we're gonna tuck the toes. <clears throat> Actually draw the knees back a little bit, tuck the toes, starting with um, just flat back to the floor. So you're gonna engage the front body. The strength of the arms is waking up. Inhale, exhale, press into your downward dog, and find the hands a little bit wider than shoulders, the feet about hip width. We're gonna lift the heels, highest high, pressing balls of the big toe, pressing the heels to your place of comfort and lengthening of the legs. 
drawing the, the shoulders down the back so you have a long neck. And when you're ready, you start sipping the breath through the fingertips and the palm. And you use your awareness to follow the line through the arms, through the body. And you just make it up. I mean, you're just making rivers through the body, <clears throat> down the legs, and out the feet chakra, out the chakra of the arc, of the arch and of the toe pads. And then dry fresh energy back in the hands. <clears throat> Passing the fresh rivers of energy through the body, releasing out the feet, connecting deeply, rooting your feet with each exhale into the earth. A couple more cycles, or go ahead and go into child's pose. And we're all gonna go into plank and belly to the floor. Then we're gonna go into sphinx. So we're gonna find the shoulder, the elbows under the shoulders and go ahead and do what's comfortable for you. So we're lengthening the front of the spine, both legs strong, toes fairly pointed. And we're lengthening the front body. You can even come up on the hands and do a little bit more of an upper arc, back arc. And then six again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the head and lift the upper back. And bringing one ear to a shoulder and then the other. So let's do this together. We're gonna bring Ear to left shoulder and draw right shoulder down. So Akasha, this is part of our head slide preparation. And then we're gonna go right ear, right shoulder, draw left shoulder down. One more time each side. Good, and then we're gonna actually open the chest and gaze up. So slight arc of the body. That's an inhale, exhale, lift the upper back, drop the head. Really opening the back of the neck. Inhale, front of the body. Exhale, open upper back and the neck. Inhale, open the heart, gaze up. Exhale, back side down. Good, then we're gonna just flatten arms forward and lift the feet, lift the thighs. We're gonna go into like Superman flight. We're gonna lift the arms. So now we're pressing with the pelvis using the strength of the legs. Point the toes. And then you can even do swimmer. So that means pump the arms and the legs, palms to the floor, shoulders down the back. And release, drawing the hands down to the sides of the body. So we're gonna put tops of the hands to the floor. One more time, lifting the legs, lifting the chest even more, lifting the palms to the sky. Long neck, breathing, pressing with the pelvis, a little bit more lifting the limbs off the floor. Legs are coming towards each other versus flying away from each other. Inhale, exhale. Now if your knees are, are okay with you, we're gonna grab the outside of each uh, ankle. The shoulders are coming together. Taking a breath, inhale, exhale, here we go, inhale, lift up, flexing the feet, knees are trying to come together, lengthening the back of the neck, shoulders coming together, feet flexed, 
We're gonna be here a few breaths if you can hold it, but you're breathing. One more cycle, giving it all you have, and let it go. Hands under the shoulders, <clears throat> coming up to knees, sit back, up on the fingertips and drawing the shoulders down the back again, opening that lower back. Now we're gonna come up under the toes, Lifting heels, lifting knees. One more time, lengthening the um, back of the legs. You can either have heels on the floor or high. Bring the front body deeper. Good, drop the heels. Open the feet to hip width and either grab the ankles, the shins, or two, the first two fingers to the, grab the toe. We're gonna inhale, flat back. Exhale, elbows out, drawing torso down, watching where the shoulders are going. Inhale, flat back, full length of the arms. Exhale, bring the belly into the spine and arc the spine to the ceiling a bit more. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the neck. Exhale, torso comes down, elbows out. Inhale, lengthen the arms, flat back. Exhale, belly presses to the spine, spine to the sky, head down. Inhale, last cycle, lengthen the spine, arms long. Exhale, elbows out, torso over, watching the shoulders. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, belly to spine. And just go ahead, release. Take a nice wide stance, grab the elbows and shake out the legs. Go ahead and rock the hips back and forth. Heels in, toes out, forearms to knees. Great, and press, press, press. So we have our feet nice and awake. Let's open the palms forward. So this is actually all a Padma. So that means there's a bit of a curl with the pinky towards the inside. And um, there's like a little spiral staircase from the pinky moving to the thumb. Knees over middle toes, we're pressing. And press, press, press. So we've woken up the feet, we've woken up the hands, now we're gonna notice what's happening with our crown receiving from the heavens, all the way into our beautifully open, structified body for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, toes in, hands to the earth, feet to the earth, shake it out, bending the knees, rolling up, heavy arms and head. Grabbing one elbow and or one wrist and reaching over. And the other. One more. And the other. Okay, great. So we're gonna do, just let it all release. Lengthening your breath. So we're essentially going to repeat what we did last week when it comes to the ODC part. <clears throat> so 
All right, hi ladies. <clears throat> so um, in this unique quarantine time that we're in, um, a lot is being created in my world over here. And so in the last two days, I had a pretty good deep dive and what came out of it was two incredible ODC related programs that are gonna be what happened after this um, cycle of classes. So I'm gonna start sharing about those, um, but you ladies here are getting a little head of the game um, by doing this, this class here, but I'm super excited. We're gonna do one preliminary four week program that's gonna be all the inner alchemies about ODC that I've been researching for I don't know, a decade in all these different directions, books, teachers going to India. Um, so, uh, and not just the Indian system, but also the Nepali system, the yogic system. So I'm gonna be, that's just gonna be, I'm so excited about that. So that's gonna be one part, but then we're gonna also do um, a really beautiful, so the choreography that's happening on Wednesday is the final piece is a no DC combination that's very complex. So we're gonna just have a four week to finish that. So I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be coming out, details, pay attention. But this is all, everything that we're doing in the Shakti Yoga is really designed to optimize our temple dance experience. Whether or not we ever do any classical dance, doesn't matter. There's still this presence of being fully awake and using what we have, even simply to live our life more sensually. And that's really like, that's the invitation here. Now, if someone wants to actually take it all the way into temple dance, awesome, let's go. But just, there's just something about waking up our body on this level, our energy that um, I think the world really can use right now. And we ourselves obviously can really use right now. So um, let's start with the eye exercises. So we're gonna go Suchi. Suchi is the number one and that comes out from the shoulders. We keep the gaze forward as the suchi goes out to the far side. We're gonna slide eye right. We're gonna hold four, three, two, one. And we follow the horizon line, not bouncing around to the other finger. We hold and we find our fullest length of those eye muscles. The shoulders are sliding away from the ears for four, three, two, one, slide right. Four, three, two, one, slide left. For four, three, two, one, and right, and left, and right, and left. Two more, right and left, last set, right, and left. Okay, so I don't know if I've done this with you guys before, with any of you guys, but so then in ODC, the eye actually has all these different pathways. So the next one we're gonna do is up to down. And we use our hand because we wanna do a straight line of the eyes. And if we don't use the hand, well, you can see what happens when you don't use the hand. So basically, we're gonna do the same thing we did here. As far as we can still see it, we draw the hands back. We're gonna draw the finger as far as you can still see it. You're not dipping down. That's the whole trick. And you're not gonna go up. Your head is fixed. It's just the eyes. So here we go. Find that finger down, slide up, hold up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, slide down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four, four for four, three, two, one for four, three, two, one for two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, now we're gonna go nice and smooth and you're following the finger all the way top to bottom. So the, the count from top to bottom and bottom to top is gonna be four. Four, three, two, 
One, four, three, two, down. Up, four, three, two. One down, four, three, two. One, couple more times, three, two. One and down, three, two. One up, last set. And down, good. So next week we'll do the corners and make a big circle. Okay, so um, we're gonna do our chest slide. So let's take, uh, just mirror me for now and come over, I'm bending this elbow and I'm opening that side, lifting the gaze up. And you can get your ala padma going with the upper hand. And release to switch. Sinking that outer hip, drawing that shoulder down the back, ala padma with the upper hand. Good, okay. So review, as we have the obliques here, we're gonna contract one and it's gonna push everything over there and contract the other, pushing everything over there. The key is the shoulders don't move. That gives us the chest isolation. What looks like is a beautiful, it looks like the breasts are isolated and sliding. So we're just keeping, and I'm just kinda, I'm not really counting you through the movement. I'm just asking you to find your own oblique, alternate oblique movement. So if you feel like your shoulders are in place, it's always good to look in a mirror. Then you can go into Anjali. So let's go ahead and do the beat now. So the beat is going one, two, one, two, one, two. Slide, 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 good. Slide, 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 slide. Great. So we're gonna we're collecting some puzzle pieces here. Um, then our next one is, uh, I think it's called Shankar. One minute. One minute. Sikara. That's right. Sikara. Okay. Sikara. So the hitchhiker is much nicer sounding Sikara. So Sikara, if you want, you can have the, the training wheels here. So um, what is happening is... You're going to mainly be feeling it here. So this one's lengthening while this one's driving. I'm sliding this way. This is driving. This is lengthening. This is driving. This is lengthening. So it's like this is the contract. This side contracts to slide the head over. And this, like, I can feel a little slight I don't know what the, I don't know what I'm feeling, but it could be dangerous. So you want to be careful with this. So then we're going to engage to go this way, engage to go this way, and it doesn't have to be big, especially if you're one of those necks that don't like this. So if you're having trouble with this, then what I do is kind of dip to the corner. The top of the head dips the corner to lengthen that area. Come up, dip, head to this corner so we lengthen this area. And you can do that a few times. And then you can also do side, front, side, center. And reverse side, front, side, center. I am from the school where you never go back. So I, there are some people that teach doing a full head circle. I'm from the school that you don't ever crunch the head back and do a circle. But you know, that's just, that's just the way that I roll. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna, you can do training wheels if you'd like. We're gonna slide ear to knuckles and you're keeping the, the face is a clock. The clock is not moving. You're seeing the clock full forward with the nose being the middle, slide, 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 slide. So this is something good to do on your own time. And then you can play around with the slow slide, 
You can bring it up, slide, 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 slide. There you go. And then just the digga, 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 digga. Okay, so that's head. Now we can slide the head, just mirror me this way, and then we can bring the eyes over this way. So nothing else is moving, just head and eyes. Then we switch head and eyes, and switch, and switch, and switch. They go at the same time. Switch, 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 and center. Okay, so then, this is when I'm gonna turn around. So now we're all gonna do this together. So your left oblique, your left oblique is gonna engage. We're, just, we're gonna try to get an upper chest slide. Then your head and eyes are going left. So you've got oppositions going. Then we come to center, engage right oblique, look right, and head slide right. Hands on Anjali Mudra in front of the heart and switch. Left oblique, look left, head left. Right oblique, head gaze, or eyes gaze right, head to the right. We're gonna go with the music, here we go. And switch. Everything's on the left now. And switch, on the right. And switch, 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 and switch, right side and center. Okay, for our last trick today, we are now going to add, so we have Anjali, and we'll get more in the ODC classes, we'll, we'll teach about the arm postures and such. But essentially, the, in the, the condensed version is, you want to have one hand away, because the, as the temple dancer, you're offering the mudra. So the mudra is not in, it's, off, it's out, it's being offered. So we're going to start with Anjali. And then we're going to open to Ala Padma. And then we come back to Anjali. And we open to the other Ala Padma. So there's a, as you can tell, there's a twist in the wrist. Yep. So Anjali. And it's actually kind of... It's as if I'm wrapping my hand around a ball. So I'm trying, here's the ball, and I'm wrapping my Anjali around that ball. So here's this ball, and I'm gonna wrap the Anjali around the ball. Or I'm sorry, yeah, Anjali, Alapadna. Jeez, Louise. Okay, Alapadna, yeah. So starting with your right, no, your left. Yeah, my right. So here we go and open and close and open and close your left and open and close open close last one open close and we finish with this okay great so i gotta start the other class right now ish so we're gonna put it all together here we go right oblique right mudra head slides left eyes left here we go and, oh, wait, let's see. That was wrong, sorry. Left, of, right oblique, eyes right, head slide right, right mudra, and center. Left oblique, eyes left, head left, open the left mudra, and center. And reverse, right oblique, right mudra, opens gaze right, head right, center. And left oblique, open left mudra, gaze left, head slide left. We're gonna do a few without pausing. And right side in, left side in, right side in, left side in, right side in, left side in, and bow. There you go. Okay, ladies, so um, super awesome to see you beautiful women here. Um, I'm now officially three minutes late to the other class, but good thing most of you are in that one. So I'm gonna um, sign off, take a breath, um, jump on when you're ready to the other one. I just wanna make sure if anyone else is over there that we're all kosher. Hope to see you in a minute, mwah! Super yummy!